This conference will now be recorded. Okay, let's get started. So uh, I welcome you to this Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager online training session. First of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Kashif. I am from India, Mumbai. I have somewhere around 13 years of practical IT experience. I have uh, experience on multiple technologies like SCCM, Intune, Active Directory, Application Packaging, Azure, PowerShell. I am a BSc IT graduate from Mumbai University. And after completing my graduation, I started working in IT field wherein I worked on SCCM level one team, level two, level three. Now I am working as SCCM architect wherein my primary roles and responsibility is to implement SCCM in companies. I have implemented SCCM in various companies so far. And apart from the implementation and project task, I am involved in training wherein I train people on um, SCCM and other technologies. I have trained more than 28,000 students globally. Uh, using online platform or offline a classroom and corporate training. These are my mm -hmm. website, blog, email address and Skype ID. Yes, I think I saw I saw your profile online on YouTube. I was searching on YouTube and I saw it, so I had to reach right. out to you. Now I'm going to take you to the next slide, which talks about the duration of this training. So total duration is going to be 30 to 35 hours maximum. And that is going to take one month to finish all the topics. Okay, one month. We will do session from Monday to Saturday daily one hour session. Daily one hour session Monday to Saturday. Sunday we will not have any session. So one hour for example, suppose we are starting at 7 a.m. 7 p.m. Sorry, 7 p.m. CST time. I don't know which time zone you are in. CST time. Yes. Yes. That's okay. It. So because we just have the daylight saving started, right? Yes. And for so just now, I think it is seven seven two p.m. CST now at the moment. Yes. That's it. Right? Seven two. That's what I have. Yes. You're right. Right. So we will start at seven p.m like the same time uh, CST to uh, it will go up to one hour 8 p.m. CST. Okay. Okay. Seven to eight daily basis Monday to Saturday. We will do the session. I hope this time suits you, right? Um, can we shift it? I have another classes. So that's the reason I have only this time frame at the moment. What time you go go, go to work? Uh, is that working from home? We if we can do it from eight p.m. to nine. No, I'm missing. Eight p.m. Okay, no, I this seven seven to action. eight seven to eight will be fine. That will be fine. Okay, be because eight, eight, eight to nine, I have another classes like I have completed 50% of that. So okay. that's not possible now. Now, so one month it is going to take to finish all the topics. Okay, seven to okay. eight daily basis, uh, Monday to Saturday, which is India time. It's going to be 630 a.m. morning. It is morning time here at the moment. Okay, okay. 630 to 730 a.m. Okay, now let's move on to the next slide. Now <clears throat> you might be uh, getting confused uh, why this is MECM now uh, because you are interested in SCCM and why I'm teaching you as MECM. So first of all, I would like to tell you that SCCM was the old name of this product. The new name of the, the same product is MECM. Okay. Microsoft yes. Endpoint Configuration Manager. Previously, we used to call it as SCCM, but Microsoft changed the name from SCCM to MECM. Now, so this is a Microsoft product. Microsoft have uh, has developed this product and released in the market in the year 1994. 
okay then okay. as sms sms is what system management server system management server this was the oldest name the first name of this product given by microsoft so started in 1994 as sms 1.0 then 1999 in uh, sms 2.0 then sms 2003 in the year 2003 then microsoft changed the name from sms to sccm system center configuration manager and that happened in the year 2007 so sccm 2007 sccm 2012 sccm 1511 these three versions released in the year 2016 then these three versions released in the year 2017 okay then these three versions released in the year 2018 and these three versions released in the year 2019 but from 19 october they changed the name again from secm to mecm so MECM. from 19 october 2019 october we don't call it as secm we now calling this product as mecm microsoft endpoint configuration manager these are the three versions released in the year 2020 okay these are the three versions released in the year 2021. These two versions released in the year 2022. So this is the latest and greatest version of SCCM at the moment, MECM 2207. 22 means 2022. 07 is July month. Okay. So latest okay. and greatest version of SCCM is 2207. So if you calculate the number of year from 1994, because it started from 1990 four till 2022 so it is like more than 25 years almost like 28 years now this product is there in the market okay more than 25 years this product is there in the market so this is all being utilized almost everywhere all over the globe wherever you go whether you are in india or china or australia or us or canada or gulf countries you will find sccm in companies yeah because the technology one, is the same yeah this one is uh, why do we need this one this is basically to manage devices you can control the devices you can deploy application to the devices you can deploy updates operating system you have complete control on the devices you can send policies okay so suppose you are in india and you would like to deploy policy on the computers which are in new york you can do it through sccm okay so sccm is a very powerful tool which has uh, you know many features for controlling and managing devices so it is basically an enterprise device management solution okay now so previously we used to take this exam 20-243 and 70-703 these were the exams uh, for a certification but they, these exams are no more valid they are retired by microsoft okay okay now why you should learn sccm okay so if, so i won't take any exam when i'm done with the course no, you don't have any exam at the moment. So okay. probably in the future, you might Microsoft is going to release a new exam. But right now we don't have any exam at the moment. OK. OK. Now, why you should learn SACM? Suppose since you have started your career, you have been in IT field for the past three years. And now I think you are planning to move into one direction so that you can make your career into that right so yes. which technology is better for you so before you choose any technology you should do some market research so the good part here is you have sccm in your company and you i think you are going to work on sccm profile sooner or later so that's yes. a good part because normally people do not get chance to work on sccm you know they mostly the use this for for device automations right right yes so so why you should learn sccm first point it is a matured product it is there in the market for the past 25 years second it holds 43 percent of market share okay it holds 
43 percent of market share that means SCCM also has uh, some competitors but very tiny competitors like IBM big fix okay like SCCM SCCM is what it is an enterprise device management solution it is basically deploying application updates and operating system you will have complete control on the devices similar to that you have other products from not from Microsoft from a different vendor like IBM big fix then you have Alteris. Alteris. Then you have Landesk. Then you have Workspace. Then you have Tanium. These are some of the competitors of SSM, but very tiny. Some are like 4%, some are like 3%, 2%, 5%, 8%. You know, but SSM is like giant in front of these tiny competitors with 43% of market share almost everywhere, you know, almost like everywhere you will find SCCM. So almost all big size companies and medium size companies have implemented SCCM to manage devices. Wherever you go, you will find SCCM. That's a good part. Second thing is, I mean, point number four is it has less number of competitors, very tiny competitors, good vacancies. So in you are in US, right? In US, there are so many vacancies for SCCM. Okay. Exactly. Good salary. You can earn somewhere around 45 US dollar per hour. I don't know how much salary you are earning at the moment, but you can expect a salary of 45 US dollar per hour. This is an average salary. You might be getting more than this. I have my students who are getting $80 per hour or $90 per hour as well. Those who have like five years of experience in SAC. Okay. Okay. Resources are available. Resources available means if you are stuck somewhere, you just Google it out and you will get information. And there are hundreds of websites which will guide you to fix the problem. So resources are available. Jobs are available on Nokri, Monster, Indeed, Dice, LinkedIn. There are many job portals available in United States like Dice, Indeed, LinkedIn. You need to uh, upload your resume CV after completing this course so that you will start getting interview calls so if you if you take if you attend 10 interview okay you will yes. definitely get you will definitely get selected in either one or two companies okay, okay so you just okay. have to you just have to take attend 10 interviews after this training in a span of like one month you will definitely get a job in case if you are planning to look outside otherwise since you are already uh, given SCCM permission in your company so you don't have to move anywhere you, your job is already there now it is the third largest selling product of Microsoft Microsoft has started selling operating system on the top then office then MECM MECM is the third largest selling product of Microsoft easy to learn so since you are from networking right yes. networking I think you worked on Cisco router switches no yes so, yes I did that yeah so here here everything is GUI based GUI you don't okay. have any programming languages you don't have any coding languages you don't have to write any code or something. It is all GUI based. You just have to go next, next, next and finish and to achieve the task. Okay. Now, it is going to be there in the market for the next 10 years at least. So this is the market value of this product at the moment. Okay. Okay. So before you learn any technology, you should do some market research. So I have done this research for my students who are planning to go into SCCM field or those who are so already when, when, when I've done now that we don't have any certification when I'm done with the program what will you give I will give you course completion certificate that you have completed SCCM training okay, okay. now in SCCM we have three sites central primary and secondary I will discuss about these sites later on when we start the training okay okay, okay. then you will get more clear picture what is central, what is primary, and what is secondary site, okay? All right. Now, there are three architectural diagram in this slide. 
first when you are implementing sccm suppose uh, you have a company called uh, let's say abc private limited so on that company if the company is a small size company let's say the company does not have any branch offices only one location let's say houston houston has like 50000 devices so you install one single primary site server and that primary site server will manage all the devices in houston okay that is called standalone primary site server the second kind of deployment let's say your company is like medium size company okay yes which is like 99% of the case almost everywhere you will find this kind of architecture so whenever you have to implement sccm in companies like a medium size company then you will install primary site in the headquarter and secondary site in the branch offices okay like this then the third one is very rare kind of deployment but it is for big organization like accenture deloitte ibm wipro cognizant very big organization wherein you have more than like 200000 devices all over the globe to manage and one primary site is not sufficient to manage all the devices so we will have primary 1 primary 2 and then primary 3 and all of them will report to a top level server that is central administration site server all of them will report to central so this is big organization wherein you will have cas the you know the central the primary the secondary all of them okay so there are only three kind of deployment we do in sccm generally we go with this one and we our training will be on this one okay okay now typical this is typical architecture okay so we suppose you have a headquarter in new york new york is the uh headquarter uh the company headquarter which has like 10000 devices so you will install one primary site in headquarter and that will manage all these 10000 devices okay it is man- going to manage all these 10000 devices and it is going to collect the data of these 10000 devices and put it in the database okay now what about the devices in mumbai there are 2000 devices in mumbai 2000 devices in london 2000 devices in paris so we will not the primary site cannot manage these devices it's not possible for primary so we will install what we'll install secondary secondary will manage all the devices in mumbai and it is going to collect the data and everything and pass on to the database so secondary will also have a database same thing it will happen on the london it is going to collect the data of the london and put it in the database same thing for paris okay so whatever the data secondary collects is going to pass on to the primary okay okay so that is how the uh, the the connection is established between the primary and secondary and the data uh, base replication happens from downward to up upward now what do you what you can do from sccm there are many things which you can do through sccm okay now we will discuss about those things what you can do you can do asset management client management administrative features so when we go in the training we will do all these things practically we will do practical so hardware and software inventory we will do asset intelligence software meeting you can deploy application to to multiple devices at the same time updates operating system content management compliance setting power management client health endpoint protection we will do all these administrative features all these things we will do practically then we will get more clear picture okay okay now how do how you are going to do the practical because i don't i don't believe in just theory knowledge i believe in theory plus practical both so especially in it you have to do practical otherwise you will not learn anything so yes how do you how will you do the lab setup so lab you can do it on your laptop or desktop suppose you have a laptop at home 
and that laptop needs a configuration like this 16 gb ram quad core processor 300 gb of hard disk space minimum this is the minimum requirement if you have you know uh, if you have more than this then it's well and good so then you can set up the lab on your laptop otherwise you can go on azure free trial this one 30 days free trial azure gives and in 30 days we will be able to finish all the, our topics 30 days free trial so in azure we will create our lab computers virtual machine and from our laptop suppose the laptop at home you can connect to these machines either the machine in india or canada or australia or us we will remotely connect to these machines so this option is available in case if your laptop is not sufficient to handle the load of the servers got it yes and you need windows computer not uh, apple or linux box so when we go in the training we will do like uh, first of all we will create one network connection so that all machines can be connected to that network so we will create multiple server like domain controller database primary side secondary side and then one windows 10 can you know, windows 11 so all will be connected to the same network so that they can talk to each other so that is going to be our lab architecture okay now tell me any question you have mm. uh, not really so The lab sections for this is mm. it going to be like intense or after the class then we have to do or do we have like a project that you show me how to do projects lab there are two types of lab i told you no laptop you can do it on the laptop if your laptop is having good this configuration otherwise you can do it on azure azure gives you only 30 days free trial after 30 days if you would like to continue then you will have to pay to microsoft okay or you can create another account another free account with your uh, you know different phone number different email address okay okay all right anything else mm. i have already shared the course content with you if you have not received it i'll share the course content again so that is uh sccm course content oh spelling mistake so sccm course content uh, if you have not received it i can share this with you there are 16 modules in this one you see module number one talks about the sites then we will start the implementation from module two then discovery and resources discovering and organizing resources managing configuration manager client then managing inventory software metering then query and reporting then software deployment using application package model then deploying updates then operating system then endpoint protection then compliance setting mobile device management we will also do intune in this one uh what's your name sorry leslie leslie we will do uh intune as well intune is a bonus session generally what's people intune? Will intune to manage mobile devices we will manage android ios devices ipad uh, windows 10 devices through intune Intune okay. is is this section is the bonus section wherein you will learn how to manage mobile device because Intune is also moving like a monster. Every uh, almost all company uh, you know using Intune now, so we will use Intune as well. Then power management, remote control, site maintenance, disaster and recovery. We will install a new secondary site, and these miscellaneous topic we will do all these things we will do in one month okay any question no okay so if you 
would like to have any question or any thing just you can always reach me on whatsapp so we will start the training from wednesday yeah from wednesday after two days from now we will start the training so if you are interested to continue let me know okay yes i'm interested okay fine so anything you have to ask now or shall we close the session so when we are done with the entire project are you going to help us like building a resume or yeah i will send you the resume the materials i have all the documents i will send that to you you can also create your resume and upload your resume on your job portals then um during the hands-on are you going to give us at the end of the project where we have like a I small will give project you assignment uh not project but assignment a daily basis i'll give you some assignment to do do some task okay all right thank you okay guys so thank you for joining the session i hope the session was informative we'll meet again in the session hopefully the session will get started from wednesday okay thank you bye all right okay